modest lifestyle welcome back to the channel if this is your first time of coming across this channel my name is modesta if you haven't joined this beautiful family smash that red button that says subscribe do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that anytime we drop a new video you will be notified and to my returning subscribers the modest nation i see you all thank you for your support Benjamin and Akinyi is an interracial couple. Akinyi is from Kenya. Benjamin is American. They dropped a new video. The title is Baby News. Trust me, almost all her subscribers, including myself, at first, when I saw that notification, I thought that she was pregnant, you know? So I clicked so fast. If you don't pay close attention, like if you don't watch from start to the finish, you will not know that they are talking about how ready they are to start having babies how many babies they want to have like her husband said that he wants a football team he wants 10 children <laughs> why akinyi said that she wants only two like with two kids she's fine and they also spoke about you know how family and friends can pressure couples newly married couples to having babies even when they are not ready akinyi said that Though her parents, her relatives, her family is not putting any pressure on her at all. Like nobody is expecting her to have. Because they just barely got married, I think, a year ago. Like I've been following them about six months ago. Very lovely interracial couple. Yeah, Benjamin also mentioned that when uh, they had their wedding, just right at the reception, sister was already asking them about when they are starting family. We shouldn't have babies because we are still young. We should have babies when we are financially ready. But this is not applicable to Africa, my sister. <laughs> In Africa, whether you are financially stable or not, you want to start popping babies. Like society, our society is such that Africans and uh, babies are five and six. Africans and babies are siblings. Like we love 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 family as soon as you get married you are expected to start having baby i was even shocked to hear that the Igbo people are like this when benjamin said that his sister was already asking why they were having their reception wedding reception when they will start having baby, i'm like huh oh, Igbo people <laughs> hey who are they like this <laughs> i thought i thought it's only africa see one thing with um starting families um one thing about you know having kids after marriage is something that every couple look up for nobody would want to be put under pressure like uh, asking are you pregnant why are you not getting pregnant is there any issues it's very common in africa though sometimes people do this not because they want to poke nose they actually do it because they show concern like some people might have um, infertility they might have some challenges not falling pregnant if there are no issues of course some couples actually want to you know have that vacation enjoy life because once you start having baby, more responsibility you need to spend more if you don't have any medical issues or you don't have any challenges no infertility why not you can uh, actually delay having babies the problem is when you have problem and you don't know and you are not seeking medical attention to solve your problem that is because infertility is when couple live together not when one person is in abuja the other person is in new york then you will say you are having infertility no that's not infer infertility a man and a woman must stay in the same roof and be doing their duties accordingly as at when due 
like uh, Akinye and uh, Benjamin, they also showed their little kit, ovulation kit, just to make sure that you are doing the right thing at the right time. Because a woman's circle, there's certain period where the woman releases egg, that's ovulation. So you have to target pregnancy at that moment. And this ovulation prediction kit will tell you exactly when you are ovulating. There is also a traditional way people did this in the past. Like you keep checking your temperature. When your temperature rises during ovulation, then you know that that's the, the right time. In Africa, actually, if a woman delays having babies, the psychological part of it is even worse than not having the baby. Because of what? Family, society. People will always ask you. People will always remind you. Oh, what are you waiting for? Without them knowing. And it's something that is so personal. If a family member, like your mom, your dad, will approach you and ask you, I hope everything is okay. Or, I hope you guys are just taking your time. It's understood. But when an outsider, somebody who is not even like related, even if you have a baby, who the person will not, it will not be of impact to that person. The person will not be like, helping you out. The person is, will not help you with your bills and everything. And then the person will carry it on his or her head like gala, asking you, following you up. The womb watchers, checking if you are pregnant or not, reminding you that oh, the other person is already pregnant. Too. She just had a baby last year. Oh, do you know that this person just put the bed without knowing that you are actually hurting that person? The subscribers in the comment section, did not know they were saying congratulations congratulations is not bad congratulations in advance because they are telling us their subscribers that they are ready you know which we understand they are super super ready to start the journey yeah and i think uh, it's a good thing that they share this with their subscribers so that when finally the pregnancy news comes we will not be shocked it will not shock the lies us even me, um, at some point when I was looking at Akinyi, I was looking at her with one eye. I'm like, mm, Akinyi, are you sure you are not pregnant yet? <laughs> because we Africans, we tend to hide our pregnancy. I've seen some ladies in the past that have done this. Even if they are putting on weight, they will tell you, no, I don't know what is wrong with me. I think I'm just getting fat. They will hide it. They will cover it by all means. The only time they cannot cover it is when the womb starts popping out. That one you cannot cover it anymore. You cannot tell someone that your womb is just popping out for nothing. Nobody will believe you. But the first trimester, second trimester, people tend to hide it. And I understand with people that do this because women tend to have miscarriages between 0 to 16 weeks, which is 4 months. And the pregnancy tends to stabilize after second trimester, you know. Chances, chances of the pregnancy surviving it will be high. So that is the uh, number one reason why people choose not to share their pregnancy, especially at the early stage. Another reason is juju. People believe that once you share your, you know, like a bad eyes, once you share your good news with certain people, their bad eyes, their bad omen will start affecting you negatively. So they tend not to share it. And even if they are like some YouTuber, it's actually easy for a YouTuber not to share her pregnancy. The only time people will start suspecting is if they do more of sit down videos like they don't show their whole body. Yes, congratulations, Benjamin and Akinyi. In advance, that's what I said. I said congratulations to them because I know it will be happening soon if it has not happened <laughs> i love this couple so much and akinyi is um, a very humble laid-back girl very intelligent guys my advice here is if you are watching a video please watch before you drop your comment don't assume by the title all right guys um if you watch till this moment do not forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you in my next one bye bye